Hello folks, welcome to another video at Project Reboot. Now I'm in a fortunate position, well because I bought them actually, I've got three graphics cards to compare and benchmark using a standard platform instead of trying to benchmark them on different PCs at different times. So what have we got first? The first one we've got is an Asus Direct CU 3GB R9-280. That cost me £40 on eBay. Then we have the Sapphire Tri-X 4GB on board. That's an R9-290. That cost me £60. Going price was about £90. Now, the eBay that I bought this one from only had a rating of 2. He'd only ever bought two items and sold one, so that was a bit of a risk. But here it is, it's turned up. Finally, I bought an RX 570, 4 gigs, XFX. That was 70 quid. Now, the eBay are selling this had 12 to sell, so was it an X mining card? So here's the difference in dimensions, the 570, the 290 and the 280. Um, these R9 series are absolutely massive card. Um, these, the, the R9 280 has got um, a 6 pin and an 8 pin. The triple fan R9 290 has an 8 pin and a 6 pin. That's super hungry, that's about 300 watts TDP on that one. I'm going to need a, a really good power supply for that one. And the RX uh, 570 has a single 8 pin. If you watched um, the recent build on the R9 280 and the HP ProDesk 400 G2, you'll know just how much problem I had getting that R9 280 in there. Right, we're well, having another go of putting the card in. We've had to take the heat sink off top of the CPU because the angle of the dangle oh, that bracket's in the way oh steady on Burns oh hang on don't force it this is hitting this one it's hitting this bracket here and this one told you it wouldn't fit hang on don't no, we're stuck st now it's stuck and this is why it's so much taller than the R9-290 but the R9-290 is a bit longer another inch 20 mil see stick the 570 on top of that considerably shorter with both of them and about the same height or let Yep, same height as the as the 290. There it is, pretty much. Same height, but much shorter. That's evolution for you. Here's Frankenrig. It's a test bench that I made. This is um, where we're going to test all these cards, uh, the three cards. We've got a bit of a rubbish old card on there at the moment. Um, but it's going to mean that we can test them all on the same motherboard and, and CPU. I think there's an i3-2120 in here. It's not a big big one, big um, CPU, but it's going to allow us to benchmark graphics cards on heaven. Um, so, there we are. Benchmarking has finished. Now, as you can see from our extensive um, graphics chart list here, we've been quite busy on benchmarking. Um, anyway, so the Asus Direct CU2 R9-280 with 3 gigs on board, that clocked up 73 frames per second. That's all right. Then the XFX Radeon RX 574 gigs, uh, 102. And just above that, the Sapphire Tri-X R9-294 gigs, 103. So, I mean, they're great, um, low-priced, good-spec graphics cards. So, this is where the RX 570 ended up, in this um, Zoostorm case. 
I'll just show you that. Uh, you will see the video if you did a search on the um, RX570 and the i3-8100 8th gen. That's what's in here. Here is the XFX RX570 in our Zoo Storm case. Jack built that one, didn't you Jack? Yep. I think you did. Yes. So, there it is. The R9290 also went in a build, um, but that's already gone and sold, so I can't show you that one. Right, so um, it's been a few days later, and um, we found a PC to put the R9280 in that Bernie's been working on. This is looking very nice. So there's the R9280. It fits in this case. Talking about, you know, as I said, it's a massive card, but this is a big case. It's a massive big tower case by Cooler Master. And this has got an i7-3770K in there with uh, 16 gigs of DDR3. So that's going to become a gaming PC. I'll just take a, uh, the video of the front of the case there, Burns. We have had one of these cases before. If people go back to The Beast, yes. that's the, it's the same case. Ah, right. But it's different, obviously different internals. So if we've put some blingy fans in. Um, just to uh, brighten it up a bit. So yeah. that's looking good. There'll be two more fans going on the side here when they yeah. show up, if they show up. This has got an, an uh, heat pump on, uh, I keep calling it a heat pump. It's not, is it? It's a rad. All in one rad. Yes. And there's your rad, there's your, radio. Radio. Yeah. Uh, there's your radio, there's your fan. Right, we're just about to run a benchmark on that. We've already done the benchmark on Frank and Rig, as you've seen. Okay, so that was a quick benchmarking video for three graphics cards. They're being used in new systems now. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Cheerio.